Hi, this is Lauren Evans for the Finance News Network. Joining me from LBT Innovations is CEO and Managing Director Brent Barnes. Brent, nice to see you again and welcome back to the network. Hey, Lauren. Today you received purchase orders for five of your APAS independent instruments from Thermo Fisher. Can you tell us more about this? Absolutely. Look, first, um, for those new to the LBT story, we appointed Thermo Fisher Scientific as our exclusive distributor for our automated plate assessment system or our APAS uh, product in the United States at the very end of September of, of last year. So since then, we've, as you would expect, kind of done the onboarding activities where Thermo's you know, kind of brought the product in behind their brand and in behind their sales team. And, and today, look, we're, we're really pleased that just after kind of six months of them being formally appointed, they've placed an order for, for five APAS independence instruments. And this is really to kind of support the market traction that they're getting from customers um, since taking it on uh, in the US. I think for, for shareholders, it really demonstrates that positive market traction in a relatively short period of time. And to to put it into context, over the last two years without Thermo, uh, we've sold five instruments. So after six months, they've placed a, a PO for five, which I think is a really great indication of the of, of the product market fit that we're seeing in the US. So you've said previously that the sales cycle is typically 12 to 18 months, but this order has come just after six months of Thermo being appointed. Why is this? Look, I'd point out that um, we have a confluence of interest between our APAS product and Thermo's media. So in other words, you know, APAS automatically reads and interprets the media that, that Thermo kind of manufacture and already distribute. And in fact, are, are real leaders in that, in that category within the US and in fact, globally. So what it means is that Thermo's already got a, a customer relationship database. They have in-depth market knowledge. They obviously know where they sell their media. And what that has allowed them to do is to identify those customers, perhaps with the greatest need for, for automation. That's been really, really successful. I think the true benefit of someone like Thermo is their brand, their reach. It's just impossible for, for a company like ours to be able to do that. We've got a single person there in the US and have have had someone for the last couple of years. And so we see now with that brand and that, that geographical reach with Thermo, things and that traction kind of improving. And I think the other the other thing just to add there is COVID in, in certain states, we're, we're seeing some easing of some of those restrictions. So we're able to get back in front of customers again, which we also see as a, as a positive sign on a go forward basis. And what impact do these sales have with respect to your recent full acquisition of Clever Culture Systems? As a refresh for shareholders, Clever Culture Systems was a joint venture company we set up actually in 2013 um, to commercialise uh, the APAS product. At the very, very end of last year, we completed the acquisition of the outstanding 50% of that business. So it means that now Clever Culture Systems or CCS is a 100% wholly owned subsidiary of LBT Innovations. So kind of back to your question, it simply means that following that acquisition, 100% of the revenues of the instrument purchase, in addition to 100% of the annual software license comes directly to LBT through Clever Culture Systems. And the last question from me, Brent, what can we expect from the company in regards to near-term activity? We're coming up to a really busy travel time. It's kind of conference season and it's really fantastic that international travel has opened up again. Um, one of our employees recently uh, travelled to the US. That was the first time we had someone go overseas in the last two years. Uh, look, this week in the UK, we have a, a booth at a conference, the Institute of Biomedical Sciences. Um, I understand that's being um, well well attended, um, which is really fantastic. Uh, I'm going to be in Europe next week. And then in April, we, we, we've got a, a team kind of going to the largest conference of the year. This is the European Congress of Clinical Microbiology and Infectious Diseases. We've got five posters that have been accepted as part of that, um, and that's really important, building up that scientific uh, body, of de uh, body of evidence, I should say, um, which obviously creates accept acceptance for the product. Uh, and then in June, look, we go to the US and we've got the American Society of Microbiology uh, meeting. So it's a, it's a really busy couple of months that we've got um, going forward and obviously working with our partners in Thermo Fisher and Beckman Coulter, supporting them, getting the brand out there as well. So look, today's announcement's a fantastic way to start the first quarter of the calendar year. Uh, and we see this as a really positive sign of commercial progress for the rest of this calendar year. Well, Brent Barnes, thanks so much for the update. We look forward to hearing from you again later in the year. Thanks, Lauren.